on the hippie leaves. See my door on this little dude and back welds made. We look at the highs and the lows of building a season two correct hero car. <laughs> Y'all looking at me. Y'all make me laugh. So all the interior is out of the uh, Kibbe Lee. And uh, I'll show you around on the inside of it and uh, tell you where we're at. Uh, so, on the, uh, it's got a few little dings in the bottom down there. So we're going to fix that and uh, get that painted interior color like it's supposed to be. Of course, all the interior panels are out. Dash is out. Dash cluster is out. Uh, the fuel gauge I think Robert may have hooked it up backwards which would have been easier to done the way the wiring was right there uh, we've got that sent off to redline gauges and Shannon is going to fix that up there's the old interior panels and then of course my handy dandy uh, slotted bucket seat <clears throat> of course we cut the doors open and uh, there's the dents we're gonna get those, uh, we've got those wiped and we'll get those blocked and uh, some primer shot on them, block back down, and then we'll be uh, good to go. Gotta get in there and get that dash sanded and painted, and that'll probably be what comes up next. So, where we're at now is we've got pretty much all of the interior out. Uh, these lower pads off. Uh, key switch is out, and whoever previously painted it just uh, spray bombed all of it at once. Uh, we've got the lower parts of the doors are sanded, all of that sanded scuff ready to paint. Uh, so we're going to take this off at some point, probably paint the doors, and then come back and tape everything off real good and do all of the dash in one setting and then do all the, the remaining little parts. Uh, let's see, there's some trim right up here. Get a good shot of that. We'll get that painted and that should be pretty much everything. So I'm going to try and set the camera up in the back window and uh, get a good shot of us taking this pad off. Now this pad actually has little studs with what appears to be a 3-8 speed nut that's what we always called them and uh, I don't know how many of them they are down through here but with all of this out and extension you can reach through here and uh, looks like get them out semi easy so let's set the camera up and uh, see if we can get it out Okay, so if you want to find one of these studs, just insert the uh, socket and extension up in there, rake it across until you hit something, and then back off and get it slid up on there.
So I've researched this because it's the first one I ever put on, took off. And, uh, you know, like guys were like, oh, you're going to tear your knuckles up. You're going to you're gonna do That was actually fairly simple to get off. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, there'll be one on each side of your heater controls here and here. And then one in the center of the steering wheel. And then one about um, four, five inches to the left of that. One in the center of the uh, dash right here. Or I mean center of the uh, glove box. And then one like about five inches to the right of it. So uh, now we got to do is finish getting all this scuffed up. Get it taped up. In the booth. Spray. Put back together. And uh, get Robert in it. Driving around a round track. So let's get to it. Okay, I know uh, a lot of this is in segments, and I kind of apologize for that, but uh, the way work's going, <clears throat> we're pretty busy, so I decided to jump in here and, and do it when I can. Uh, the restoration stuff, we, we show it, but I never show any of the insurance stuff, uh, because folks don't want that shown. So let's show you what we're doing on the general. And show you this sweet piece right here that I have not painted this. This is somebody else's beauty, beauty, beauty work here. That is an actual hair. And then the one to the right of it, right there. And that beautiful run. This is the scat that is kind of sticky. <clears throat> so, um, been uh, scraping and stripping this looked exactly like that when we started I've uh, been using lacquer thinner and uh, scraping and get that off and I've got to scrape it some more and uh, do the other one as well and then it's on a Friday night it's our Mustang haven't buffed on it lately we've got the uh, the general in there and tomorrow's probably gonna be the big day for it we're gonna paint the Paint the dash and paint the uh, inside of the doors, and then from there we're back to assembly. Uh, a few little knickknack details, and then uh, this thing will be ready to go uh, back to Kibby or to somewhere else. I uh, haven't talked to him lately, but I did listen to one of the podcasts, and uh, he mentioned maybe having another plan for it. So you never can tell with Robert. I'm sure it'll be cool no matter what it is. And uh, the uh, next segment will be us uh, taping it up and probably spraying the interior. Three, two, one, and go. We got the, uh, the Kibbe Lee all taped up, masked up, and uh, give you a little walk around. And then we're going to do the uh, interior spray. And let's just have a look at it. So we're going to do the, I guess I'll call it door jams, the edges, uh, on uh, I guess it's the B bodies. I'm not a Chrysler guy, Dodge guy, so I'm not going to pretend to, to know exactly what I'm talking about. But I do know what I'm talking about. All of this inside, match that tape down, all of this inside part from where the uh, door seal inward is going to be interior color. Uh, most of my I've ever seen were black. I've seen some that were white. Uh, this one is going to be Kibby Lee Brown. That has, uh, with the help of Instagram and some folks on Instagram, that's the name of the color now. We're just going to keep it simple. Kibby Lee Brown. Uh, the ideal way to paint this dash is to take it out, which requires taking out the windshield. But due to time and budget, we are going to do it this way. So we will also get the column uh, while we're doing it. Get all that taped up. And time to get started. What we'll do is we'll seal it, just like we've done everything else. Uh, seal it, come back, three coats of uh, base. We're using uh, Deltron DBI, and uh, it'll be done. Then we'll just have to assemble it. So let's get started.
So we've got everything prepped, sawed, cleaned, and now we're fixing to apply our sealer, then our base, and we'll be done. Okay, the one step that I haven't showed you that we did is uh, we've already went and wiped everything down with a tack rag to get any any lint or trash or anything like that off of it. And uh, now we're going to apply the sealer. kind of test sprays to get the, the fan set right on the on the gun and see if I can once it gets good and cured then we will uh, untape it and there'll be some more light of course the pad goes right there pretty much all of this is covered up anyways but uh, there you have it I like just a few more interior pieces I know you're thinking of applying the world. There's a lot of interior pieces to it. Once you tear it all down and start painting every single piece, there's a lot of pieces. So, uh, let's move on to the next phase. I don't think I've done one yet of the interior, as far as us working on the interior. We got the carpet out, got the console out, uh, got a lot of the parts out. And, uh, do uh, slip this around, oh, hand in the way. So here's where we're at. I know you're looking in the background and saying, hey, the door is open. Well, if uh, you get creative with a hacksaw and a cutting torch, well, hacksaw and a cutoff wheel. We didn't actually use a cutting torch. Uh, you can cut the doors back open because they left the hinges. <coughs> 
let's just see what we got. We got some more black silicone that I touched on that held the uh, trunk seal on. And then uh, let's just see what we can learn about Mr. Kibby from looking in his glove box. Our ashtray. I got the glove box out. Well, look at there. Bo has up and left his driver's license in the General Lee. Yeah, I mean, that's just typical. Spare bulbs, that sort of thing. So, we will get the rest of the dash out. There's the interior pieces. Got them laying right here. Uh, we've got the rest of them in the booth. As far as the console goes and the kick panels, we've got those in the booth. And uh, we'll move on to that. Here's just a few parts we've got. I haven't prepped them yet. So, we'll go over and Excuse me, we'll gray scuff them probably. We may have to red scuff some of them and uh, put an adhesion promoter on them and get them sprayed. Now, speaking of an adhesion promoter, you can see here well, we definitely have some adhesion problems. And at some point in time, somebody sprayed these and didn't use the proper adhesion promoter uh, given that it's black on the back whoever sprayed the tan may not be at fault maybe someone before them but we definitely got some, uh, some adhesion problems going on here that we're going to have to address this is incredibly hard to get off where it is stuck because it is textured <coughs> but there's just both kick panels are pretty much not stuck. And uh, I don't know they tried to spray a black sealer. That's the back side of some of those flakes and then paint. But you definitely need some anti-adhesion promoter. Uh, got a new console. We'll get it sprayed up and put in there. And uh, let's go get some anti Anahasian promoter and talk a little bit more. So here we are with our anahasian promoters that I tend to use the most. Uh, this is what most folks seem to use is uh, Bulldog. It does real good. I've had fairly good luck out of it. Uh, and then this two part system by Rubber Seal, uh, Flexi Clean. Of course, you don't have no trouble reading the part numbers on here. Uh, you Clean your plastic first with this. You do not want to use this on anything that, like a bumper that has a primer coating on it because this will take that coating off. So do a little test spot first to make sure. And then uh, here's the Flexi Grip Anahesion Promoter. Uh, I've had real good luck with this. Uh, I've, I've really never had any problems with it, with either one of them. I just, for whatever reason, I've always used this uh, rubber seal. Uh, <clears throat> pretty much prep your surface, uh, sand it, clean it, spray this on. Uh, I generally go with about two coats and then you can apply your paint right back over the top of it. Uh, with this system you clean it with this system right here and then you come back and same thing about two coats of the actual anti-adhesion promoter and uh, then you come back in and lay your uh, paint or sealer or whatever you're using over the top of it. So uh, let's get to sanding and uh, prepping these parts and uh, start painting. Okay, so I haven't bored you with just watching me sand on something. The uh, glove box was really, really bad orange peel. And you can see that it was slightly textured. But they put so much paint on it that it's kind of covered that up. So what we'll do is when I spray the sealer on, I'll uh, cut my air pressure down and uh, just kind of fog it. That's a real fine grain. So on that, I may leave my air pressure what I usually spray at and then stand way off of it and kind of dry spray it and do the same with the paint to kind of emulate a real fine grain. I haven't got to those parts yet. Uh, 
the roof piece or the headliner, front headliner mold in this sanded. We just sanded it with 320. So we're going to go back and spray sealer on it. On these uh, kick panels that I just showed you, uh, this appears to maybe be uh, just the adhesion promoter they used and it didn't work. I'm guessing. But on this panel here, it's uh, the lamination is more of the problem. Where we scraped it, it's just getting old and kind of dry rotted. So you'll run into that problem a lot on those. But we'll go back and sand, feather these edges out where it's coming apart and turning chalky, and then uh, do the same with them. Adhesion promoter and uh, a little sealer and uh, get them sprayed. So uh, let's get back to it. So we've got all the pieces uh, sanded and scuffed. Now we're going to do it. Um, uh, put the glove box lid just like it would be mounted in the car. Just fold it open the hinge and it's spring loaded and run one screw down on it just to kind of kind of help it. It's uh, clamp tight enough that it on its own that it wouldn't uh, come loose. There are our sun visors. We'll spray those. Got the little chrome tabs taped up. Uh, we'll put an adhesion promoter on that. And the console. And I'm not sure. We'll probably spray a little bit just right here on this bare plastic. Uh, some more of this blowed off. And I'll blow it off with an air hose. And uh, we'll move that stuff around a little bit more and get it in a better better situation before we start spraying. Got those right there. Those are your A-pillar molding. And that's where we're at. So uh, next thing is to wipe everything down and uh, start spraying our sealer on all of the parts that are already painted. And then uh, an adhesion promoter on everything else. So this color has to be, well this color for it to be the correct color on the uh, the spray out that we've done, it needs to be sprayed over black. So that's the reason we're spraying black sealer over all this. And I'm just a sealer freak. I like spraying sealer on everything. It's a good idea, good practice. So we're fixing to spray our anhedrium promoter and we're So we've got black sealer and everything that was painted tan. Still got a flash off. We will 
give this 15 minutes. All right, we got our paint. Time to get everything sprayed and keep it in the Everything has three coats of base on it, and uh, we've got a. I'm gonna see it here. Got a perfect color match. Still a little tacky. Yeah, right there. So all the pieces are pretty well done. And a little texture to the glove box. And this is still really wet. Added a lot of texture to this panel. You still see a few bad spots. I got a little bit towards the top, but overall we've got it. Got it looking good and covered up. If I didn't point them out to you, you wouldn't see them. So that's starting to flash. Console looks great. Didn't paint down inside the console because we didn't want to have to worry about the keys and things like that. Chipping the paint. It's all right. All I gotta do now is paint everything else. 